Italy Flowers has been going for just over 25 years. My parents-in-law, Andrew and Hilary, uh, started the business. They moved to a church town farm and were running it as a traditional flower farm and then hit on the idea of selling or sending flowers by post. We came to the islands in 1986 and um, we had some pretty catastrophic weather conditions in the early years when all our beautiful high shelter belts died and that coupled with falling prices in the market meant really that we were struggling. We were on our beam ends. As we know the visitors come to Scilly in the summer and uh, they would look over the hedge and see us because there were no beautiful shelter belts anymore and they would look over the the, the wall and see us working in the fields and they would ask us to send some of these beautiful flowers by post home to a sick relative or thank you for looking after the cat, all that sort of thing. And that was really where the idea came from and it was born of necessity. People are really interested in where their flowers have come from, the provenance, so the fact they've come from Scilly, the British flowers grown outdoors. The scented narcissi we've got thrive over here in particular because of, we've got a very unique climate. So we've, we've got the Atlantic surrounding us, so we don't tend to get the heavy frosts um, and the really cold weather. And it, likewise, we don't get it too hot in the summer. They don't grow the same as in, in Cornwall, um, so we're lucky that we're pretty much the only place that can grow them to the quality we do. And I think we have to remember that another reason that the flowers do thrive and they thrive on this farm is because of our shelter belts. Without them we're lost. They are essential because they stop the winds. Small fields and of course what the winds do, A, they damage in terms of just blowing the flowers around and the other thing is they're very salt laden. I mean we're, we're sitting on a rock in the middle of the uh, ocean here and when the wind comes in, it, it's salty. The hedges, as you would know them, uh, our fences are, are what keeps us going. Yeah. Sustainability has become really, really important, not just to ourselves, but to everyone, to all our customers. And we've, we really see that reflected in the comments we get back. Um, and, it, and it goes far more than just the product we send out. It's right throughout all, all the farming we do. So actually, the beef herd we've got fits in really nicely with the flowers and it, it, it's becoming all about the soil health um, and, and we can see that say in the quality of flowers that we're now growing because we've got the beef herd and because we have to farm in certain ways. We've just got an island of just over a hundred people and a really really strong sense of community and then you know not many a couple of months time we'll start to see the visitors returning and it transforms the island, transforms the feel of the island. It, both are lovely we are so remote that even getting the simplest of items here, the personal items or for the business, everything has to be thought about long in advance, it has to be shipped here, we've got the transport to get it here, the delays in getting it here. And I, th I think you do end up slightly removed from the reality that the rest of the UK is probably living in. And I think you can feel perhaps a little bit left behind, but in quite a nice way.